<laughs> you like that? Hello once again, this is Shinnan and this will be the final episode in the part 1 series. I will demonstrate another breakdown of character class and we will cover the second part of the arena match. So let's get right into it with the Mage Breakdown. The Frost Mage, making up over 80% of all mages in Arena. Their unparalleled control over the field plus high damage makes them extremely proficient in the Arena. Offense, high. Defense, average. Utility, very high. Main stat, Mastery. Increased percentage of damage to frozen targets scaled with each point of Mastery. Key offensive capabilities. Kiting web. Snakes, get out of the shot. Cha ching, cha ching. Good day, smoke on, man. I'm a blacksmith, I'm a priest. No, I'm not. Kiting while doing high amounts of burst damage to frozen targets. Icy veins. Increases casting speed by 20%, decreases all casting time lost from damage. Ice lance. Instant Ice Spell can be used in conjunction with Fingers of Frost for increased damage as if the target was frozen, whether actually frozen or not. Water Elemental for extra damage. Key Defensive Capabilities Invisibility takes effect over 3 seconds, often used at the beginning of the match. Cooldown 3 minutes. Ice Block Encases Mage in a block of ice, making him immune to all damage for 10 seconds can be cast again after 30 seconds by using the talent Cold Snap. Cooldown, 4 minutes. Blink. Teleports Mage 20 yards and frees him from all stuns and bonds. Cooldown, 15 seconds. Evocation. A channeled spell that allows the Mage to regain large amounts of mana and health, if uninterrupted. Cooldown, 4 minutes. Frost Nova, Coin of Cold, and Ring of Frost. All can be used to root or freeze attackers, rendering melee completely useless. While used in succession, cooldowns are almost unexistent. Numerous magic shields. Special abilities. Polymorph. Transforms the target into a harmless critter. Lasts for 8 seconds and has a 35 yard range. No cooldown. Improved counterspell. Stops the spell and silences for 4 seconds. Water elemental frost nova. Can be used while invisible to root their opponents. Most common build is 2, 8, 31. 2 in improved counterspell, 8 in fire for increased speed, decreased casting time loss, and an extra stun. Most dangerous when you are frozen, especially when deep frozen, and icy veins is active. Most vulnerable after second ice block. Frost mage counters. Save all root breaks for when you are pressing an attack. Use cancel aura macros to speed your assault. Save trinket for deep freeze icy veins combo. If possible, have your partner kick the initial frost bolt to silence him for the duration of the deep freeze. Also, Ring of Frost has an inner safe zone of a 4.7 yard radius. If you can wait it out, you may avoid being frozen. Note, Ice Block removes all dots, so force the first, then use a 30 second window of time before the second Ice Block to blow all cooldowns. Kick Polymorphs. When we last left off, the enemy team was focusing my partner pretty hard. In this situation, I put out a lot of pressure while peeling best I can for my teammate. Soon after, I apply full bleeds to the rogue, I'm blinded, and I can see my partner is in a lot of trouble. So now, CCing the mage who's popped all cooldowns becomes a priority. I trinket and immediately cycle on the mage, but with my partner so low in health, the mage will most definitely trinket, so I begin a casting cyclone again immediately. After cycloning the mage for the second time, I set my focus and retarget the rogue. With the mage's target out of range, I assume I will be the next target, so I counter the cast with the shadow meld and re-stealth. I fairy fire the rogue for good measure to eliminate the possibility of a re-stealth, but from here on it's pretty cut and dry. 
With cloak on cooldown and no healer, there is really no room to recover. As you can see, I took notice of his using cloak earlier in the game. Well, I hope you learned something from these short tutorials. Chances are the details will change from time to time, but learning to see things from an analytical view is good for any player. If you have any questions or would like to request a video, feel free to post a comment. If you would like me to continue this video series, let me know via comment and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Becomes in an all new definition of whack. I'm like a bad impersonation of Shaq. I'm the retarded twin brother of rap. After waking up, I usually take a nap. But when it gets dark, it's like a whole different thing. I'm a superhero when my woo back phone ring. Get up on stage with my chain and bling bling. All the girls start leaking when I sing. And it doesn't matter if it's the weekend or not. Summer and winter, it gets freaking hot. Everybody move, everybody get hurt. No need to wash your hands, you can dance off the dirt. Don't stop, don't stop. Doesn't matter if you're fat or on a diet. Don't stop, don't stop. Turn this place upside down. Like <laughs> Did you guys get the new update for Gladiator LOSSA? No. What does it do? So it tells you your performance, like how you're doing and everything. Oh, uh, dude, I need, I need that, man. Like, I want what do you mean? It's like, good job. Like, <laughs> like the... Thor, I have seen better healing from a can of chicken noodle soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Snakes, you have about as much skill as a midget in a wheelchair playing basketball. What the, what the <laughs>